This week, I'll be comparing the Comlite and the Sigma MC11 adapter. This is for when you want to put a Canon lens on a Sony body. For photography, I used to use Canon lenses and bodies. However, the video capabilities of the Canons isn't brilliant, especially when you compare it to the Panasonics and Sonys. There was a point where I still had a 6D with all my Canon lenses. I had a Panasonic GH4 for filming, and then the Sony A7S II for low light filming. It got to the point where I was just really frustrated and I wasn't shooting much. So I ended up selling most of it and adopting the Sony system. However, I didn't sell all of my lenses straight away. So I used adapters with my Canon L-series lenses on the Sony bodies. I've had the Comlite adapter for a while now, and then recently I just picked up the Sigma MC11. The Sigma is around about 180 pounds at the making of this video, and the Comlite is around about 55 pounds. So I wanna know what the differences are. Both of them have electrical connectors, so this will mean you can control the aperture and also get the EXIF data across to your camera when taking photos. When I first moved over to the Sony system, I still had all of my Canon lenses. I didn't have much money for an adapter, so at 50 pounds, I ended up getting the Comlite. The focus isn't brilliant, and in video, the focusing is non-existent, so you have to manual focus it. I was shooting a lot of video at the time, so this didn't matter too much. I do prefer manual focusing when shooting video. The only other option that I had at the time was the Metabones, and at 400 pounds, so around about eight times the price, I couldn't really justify spending that much money, especially when the autofocusing wasn't much better on it. Nowadays, the Metabones is much quicker and much better, but it's still really expensive. I've got the Comlite adapter on now, and it's having trouble focusing. You can see it finally grabs focus, but sometimes I have to manually focus the lens to get it in the ballpark, and then it'll just twitch and move around. With the Sigma MC11, it focuses much better. You can see it snaps to the focus point really quickly. And as you can see, the eye autofocusing system works well. This would be a non-starter for the Comlite. I only have a couple of Canon lenses, so I know that it works on these ones, but it's worth checking before you buy it. If you're solely a video shooter, the autofocusing system doesn't work and you'll have to stick with manual focusing. Or the other option is to get some native lenses. With the native lenses on the Sony system, the focusing works really well. So the main difference between these two adapters is the autofocusing system in the photo modes. With the Comlite, I've tried to use it on a few shoots and it hasn't worked well at all. I ended up switching to the native lenses. With the Sigma MC11, I was able to successfully use it on a professional shoot. And this is great. It means it opens up a whole host of lenses that I didn't really have access to, especially now they have the A9, the A7R3, and the A7 III. These are three great bodies that work really well with Canon lenses and the Sigma MC11 adapter. The Comlite is really a non-starter nowadays. I still use it for video, but I don't use it for photography at all. And that's about it. If you're thinking about moving from Canon to Sony, now is a good time as any. All you need is the A7 III body, the Sigma MC11 adapter, and then you'll be able to keep hold of all of your Canon lenses. Just make sure you test them all first. There are a few compatibility issues with the odd lens. I don't have many L series lenses left, so I don't know which ones these are. But do a search online and you'll be able to find which ones work and which ones don't. So this way, you can slowly step across from one to the other. If you're a photographer, get the Sigma MC11. If you're solely a videographer, I'd say the Comlite would still be an option. It's the cheap option, so if you're on a budget, this will be really great because you'll still be able to control the aperture. If you're a hybrid shooter, Again, I'd say go with the Sigma MC11. That extra investment will be worth it. As always, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And for weekly tutorials, hints and tips in photography and videography, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.